All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how you can record your desktop using VLC Media Player with just a couple of quick, easy steps. The first thing we need to do is at the top of the window, click on the View button to bring down the menu of different menus that we can enable, and we want to click on Advanced Controls. That's going to bring up this grayed out selection of buttons in the lower left hand corner that are going to allow us to start and stop our recording after we do the next step. After that, we're gonna go up to media. We're gonna click on open capture device. This is where you would go if you wanted to like hook this up to like a capture card or like a DVD player to rip a DVD, all that sort of stuff. It can convert with that, but we wanna make sure that capture mode isn't like the direct show, we want it to be on desktop. And then down here at the bottom, the frame rate by default is probably going to be set to one. We want that to be set to 60. And then after that, we are going to click on the play button. This is going to make the whole thing get gigantic for a moment because now it's acting like a preview window as if I was recording in a more advanced recorder like OBS, which is what I normally use to record all of my tutorials. You can see that in my second monitor. Do note that this records all of your monitors hooked up because it's recording your entire desktop. It doesn't really look like there's a great way of disabling that, so what you see is what you get. Now, this is not recording yet. You might think it is because as I move this around, you can see the stuff in the background of the preview wibbling and wobbling. This is purely just the preview. To get it to record, we actually have to go down to the lower left hand corner and actually click on the big red record button, and that should then get highlighted blue. Now, this preview window is actually, oh, well, it didn't pause this time. When I tested this before, it paused. But now it's recording, and everything I do, moving this up and moving it down and moving it wibbling, wobbling around, all of that's going to get recorded, and then when I click on the record button again, now it has saved this to my video folder in my documents section so that I can pull up the video now that it has been recorded. Once you're done, you can click on the stop button as if you were playing a video and it will revert back to standard VLC media player. Once all that's said and done, again, to access this, all you have to do is go to your video folder in your my documents section. But this is how it works, or at least that's the gist. I hope you found this video helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.